इज ऑल्सो जी एस टी रजिस्टर्ड पंजाब एंड सिंध बैंक इज ऑल्सो जी एस टी रजिस्टर्ड आई एम फाइलिंग इनकम टैक्स रिटर्न ऑफ अमन विच इज नॉट जी एस टी रजिस्टर्ड आई एम फाइलिंग इनकम टैक्स रिटर्न ऑफ मिस्टर शांता इनकम टैक्स रिटर्न ऑफ मिस्टर शांता हु इज नॉट जी एस टी रजिस्टर्ड सो माई सर्विस इज नॉट कवर्ड अंडर सबसेक्शन थ्री टू फोर्टीन सी ए इन प्रैक्टिस सर्विस इज नॉट कवर्ड अंडर सबसेक्शन थ्री टू सबसेक्शन फोर्टीन तो इट वुड बी कवर्ड अंडर सबसेक्शन टू Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. So, what should be my place of supply? GST registered means B to B. What should be my place of supply? In the first place, UP. Location of service recipient. Yeah. That is. That is. UP. UP. My location. My location is of, is of Delhi. Delhi. Service provider is of Delhi. Place of supply is in UP. So, nature. नेचर इंटरस्टेट इंटरस्टेट कौन सा टैक्स लगाऊंगा बेटा मैं बिल के ऊपर आईजीएसटी आईजीएसटी टेक योर प्रॉपर टाइम भागम भाग मत करना आराम आराम से चलो प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई में कोई दिक्कत प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई इज द लोकेशन ऑफ सर्विस रिसिपिएंट दैट इज यूपी तो नाउ लोकेशन ऑफ सप्लाई डेली Place of supply UP. Interest supply by GST. Take second example. What should be the place of supply? B to B supply. Place of supply. That is Haryana. Haryana. नेचर सर आईजीएसटी इंटरस्टेट इंटरस्टेट टैक्स आईजीएसटी वेरी गुड सर सी जी एस टी एंड एस जी एस टी वेरी गुड समझ आ रहा है बेटा भागम भाग तो नहीं हो रही नो सर गुड गुड नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट क्लाइंट इज अनरजिस्टर्ड एंड एड्रेस ऑन रिकॉर्ड डज नॉट एक्सिस्ट Suppose address on record does not exist, as question is not providing whether whether supplier is maintaining address or not. Supplier is not maintaining address record. So B to C supply unregistered. I mean B to C and address on record does not exist. What should be the place of supply? Location of service provider. That is Delhi. Yes, sir. B to C nature. intra taxes cgst and sts very good next again b to c and if question is silent then address on record does not exist so what should be the place of supply service location delhi only location, location of, of service provider delhi nature Intrastate. Intra. Taxes. SGST. CGST. C plus S. L O S P. Delhi. Nature. This is the crux of section twelve two residuary services. That is services not covered under subsection three to subsection fourteen. All such services would be covered under subsection 2. हर वो सर्विस जो सबसेक्शन तीन से लेके चौदह तक कहीं नहीं आएंगी 
वो सारी सर्विसेज बेटा आपके सब सेक्शन टू में आ जाएंगे लिख लो तो बता देना बेटा लिख लिया सर चले मोहन यस सर नौ ट्वेल्व थ्री टू ट्वेल्व फोर्टीन ऑल आर स्पेसिफिक सेक्शन सेक्शन ट्वेल्व थ्री ट्वेल्व थ्री फॉलोइंग सर्विसेज आर कवर्ड एंड सेक्शन ट्वेल्व थ्री Following services are covered under section twelve three. First, services in relation to immovable property. अब actually क्या है बेटा हर section में अब services के नाम दे रखे हैं और उनके आगे उनका place of supply है ठीक है ना तब आपको नाम याद करने पड़ेंगे पहली सर्विसेज बेटा सर्विसेज इन रिलेशन टू इमूवेबल प्रॉपर्टी एग्जांपल देना एग्जांपल रेंटिंग कंस्ट्रक्शन सर्विस इंटीरियर डेकोरेशन माइनिंग एक्सेट्रा ऑल दीज सर्विसेज आर इन रिलेशन टू इमोवेबल प्रॉपर्टी बेटा अमन शांता फर्स्ट वन इज सर्विसेज इन रिलेशन टू इमोवेबल प्रॉपर्टी सेकेंड सर्विसेज बाय वे ऑफ accommodation in hotel motel house boat rest house guest house etc मैटर रिकमेंडेशन इन होटल रेंटिंग ऑफ रूम हमें क्लियर सर्विसेज समझ में आ रही है बेटा थर्ड सर्विसेज in any accommodation by way of any event kisi event ke liye accommodation book karna kisi event ke liye accommodation book karna marriage ke liye hotel book kar diya birthday party ke liye hotel book kar diya कोई सेमिनार हो रही है बेटा एजुकेशनल सेमिनार उसके लिए कोई कॉन्फ्रेंस हो रही है उसके लिए एनी इवेंट इवेंट में भी पर्सनल इवेंट में भी कल्चरल इट में भी साइंटिफिक इट में भी एजुकेशनल आर यू विद मी यस सर समझ में आ रहा है बेटा आवाज आ रहा है एंड फोर्थ एंड लास्ट अदर सर्विसेस which are incidental or ancillary to above services marriage ke liye hotel book kiya service number 3 us marriage mein beta flower decoration ki service li incidental or ancillary by number 4 
सेकेंडरी सर्विस समझ मारा ना बेटा मैरिज के लिए आपने ताज होटल बुक कर दिया बुकिंग ऑफ ताज होटल फॉर मैरिज इज कवर्ड अंडर पॉइंट नंबर थ्री इन दैट मैरिज बेटा यू हैव टेक द फ्लावर डेकोरेशन सर्विसेज डीजे सर्विसेज एक्स वाई जेड एनी अदर सर्विसेज अदर सर्विसेज तो इट वुड बी कवर्ड अंडर पॉइंट फॉर अदर सर्विसेज व्हिच आर इंसिडेंटल और एंसिलरी टू अबव सर्विसेज तो दीज फोर टाइप ऑफ सर्विसेज इज कवर्ड अंडर सेक्शन ट्वेल्व थ्री नेम द सर्विसेज बेटा नंबर वन सर्विसेज इन रिलेशन टू रिमूवल प्रॉपर्टी रेंटिंग कंस्ट्रक्शन इंटीरियर डेकोरेशन माइनिंग एटसेट्रा नंबर टू सर्विसेज बाय वे ऑफ अकमेंडेशन इन होटल मोटेल हाउस बोट रेस्ट हाउस गेस्ट हाउस एटसेट्रा नंबर थर्ड सर्विसेज बाय वे ऑफ कंडक्टिंग एनी इवेंट इन अकमेंडेशन एनी इवेंट इट मे बी पर्सनल इवेंट मैरिज बर्थडे एटसेट्रा इट मे बी कल्चरल इवेंट इट मे बी साइंटिफिक इवेंट इट मे बी एजुकेशनल इवेंट एनी कॉन्फ्रेंस इन अकमेंडेशन एंड फोर्थ एंड लास्ट एनी अदर सर्विसेज विच इज इंसिडेंटल और एंसलरी टू अब सर्विसेज these four services are covered under section 12 3 so what is the place of supply law says place of supply shall be the location where immovable property or house boat is located place of supply is the location where immovable property or house boat is located no need to check location of service provider no need to check location of service recipient what is the place of supply location where immovable property is located if immovable property is located in more than one state like highway if immovable property highway is the perfect example is located in more than one state then what should be the place of supply if immovable property let us say highway delhi mumbai expressway is located in approximate seven state so what should be the place of supply it is the location of the supplier each state place of supply shall be each state aur ek cheez dhyan se sunna jitne place of supply hote hain bill utne alag alag generate hote hain if we have two place of supply supplier has to issue two separate bill if we have three place of supply in single service supplier has to issue three separate bills and value shall be proportionate accordingly wo main example se samjhaunga Value shall be proportionate accordingly. Clear? Not if immovable property is located outside India. if immovable property is located outside india then place of supply shall be location of service recipient so in practical question you have to check immovable property is located in india or immovable property is located outside india if immovable property is located in india place of supply shall be the location where immovable property is located if immovable property is located outside india then place of supply shall be location of service recipient if in india place of supply agar if immovable property is located in more than one state then place of supply shall be each state i will do it crux for you crux place of supply under section 12 3 immovable property is situated in india 
you have to check immovable property is situated is situated outside India. If it is outside India, then place of supply is equal to location of service recipient. If it is situated in India, then place of supply. Place of supply. Location of immovable property. Am I right now? Aman, someone is not right, but Aman, Shanta. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. If located in more than one state. Then place of supply shall be each state. Just write it down. We'll explain with the help of an example. सर्विस रिसिपियंट लेटेस्ट से ताज होटल मुंबई GST registered. He is providing him interior decoration service. Interior decoration service for newly constructed hotel in each and every case is separate case. For newly constructed hotel in case A, Delhi. Newly case B, Sikkim. Case C, Goa. Each and every case is a separate case. Huh? Case D, Dubai. Case E, Canada. Just let me know. Where is the location of service provider? Delhi. Sir, Delhi. Location of service recipient? Mumbai. Mumbai. Taj Hotel, Mumbai. And what is the nature of service? Interior decoration service for newly constructed hotel in. These are the various questions. Delhi, Sikkim, Goa, Dubai, Canada. Determine place of supply. Time given two minutes only to let me know the answer. Any idea? Delhi, sir. Delhi, sir. Case A. Immovable property is located in Delhi. 
तो प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई डेली तो सर्विस प्रोवाइडर इज ऑफ ऑल्सो डेली प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई इज ऑल्सो ऑफ डेली तो नेचर इमूवेबल प्रॉपर्टी इज लोकेटेड इन इंडिया तो प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई इंडिया जहा इमूवेबल प्रॉपर्टी लोकेटेड सिक्किम राइट नेचर इंटरस्टेट लोकेशन ऑफ सप्लाई इज ऑफ डेली एंड प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई इज इन सिक्किम इंटर इंटर विच टाइप ऑफ टैक्स सप्लाई आई जी एस टी थर्ड प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई इमूवेबल प्रॉपर्टी इज इन इंडिया तो प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई प्लेस वेयर इमूवेबल प्रॉपर्टी इज लोकेटेड गोवा गोवा place where immoveable property is located goa yes sir nature of supply nature of supply inter inter sir inter inter sir delhi hai na sir chala gaya igst sir igst igst fourth take your proper time place of supply dubai outside india and whenever property is located outside india then law says place of supply location of losr service recipient that is mumbai shanta got it or not yes sir good what about canada property is located outside india place of supply mumbai place of supply location of sir hello sir that is mumbai igst so as far as d and e is concerned interstate supply igst shall apply shall i move on yes sir Shall I move on to another example? Yes, sir. Now, next example. Service provider. Let us say, Era Construction, Haryana. Service recipient. Let us say NHAI, National Highway Authority of India. Service provider, Air Construction Service recipient, NHAI. NHAI belongs to let us say Delhi. ये इसको services दे रहा है construction of construction of दिल्ली चंडीगढ़ हाईवे सी एच डी स्टैंड फॉर चंडीगढ़ विच टाइप ऑफ सर्विस इज प्रोवाइडिंग डेली चंडीगढ़ हाईवे कंस्ट्रक्शन सर्विस वैल्यू थाउजेंड करोड़ नाउ हाईवे स्टार्ट फ्रॉम डेली देन टू सम एक्सटेंट it goes to haryana after that some portion in punjab other states after that some portion in chandigarh in delhi highway distance is only 50 km Fifty is more than enough. Thirty. Then 
180 किलोमीटर इज इन हरियाणा टू पंजाब 30 किलोमीटर हाईवे विल बी कंस्ट्रक्टेड इन दिल्ली 180 किलोमीटर हाईवे वुड बी कंस्ट्रक्टेड इन हरियाणा देन 70 किलोमीटर इन पंजाब एंड 20 किलोमीटर इन चंडीगढ़ ऐसे ही होगा ना बेटा हाईवे मल्टीपल स्टेट से होके जाएगा 30 किलोमीटर पड़ रहा है दिल्ली में 180 किलोमीटर हरियाणा में 70 किलोमीटर पंजाब में और 20 किलोमीटर चंडीगढ़ में डिटरमाइन प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई क्या कहते हैं हाईवे इज इमूवेबल प्रॉपर्टी एंड इमूवेबल प्रॉपर्टी इज लोकेटेड इन मोर देन वन स्टेट से यस और नो यस सर वन मोर देन स्टेट इमूवेबल प्रॉपर्टी एंड इमूवेबल प्रॉपर्टी इज इन मल्टीपल स्टेट तो प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई शैल बी ईच स्टेट सर दिल्ली भी होगा हरियाणा भी होगा पंजाब भी होगा चंडीगढ़ भी होगा दिल्ली हरियाणा पंजाब एंड चंडीगढ़ चंडीगढ़ नाउ हाउ डज प्रैक्टिकली सिस्टम इन्वॉल्व वैल्यू रिलेटेड टू डेली वैल्यू रिलेटेड टू डेली पोर्शन How much is the total value of contract? Thousand. 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 How much is the total kilometer so of highway? Three hundred. Two hundred. Three hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Out of three hundred. Thirty. Daily portion. Thirty. Yeah. Hundred. So hundred crore related to Delhi. Value related to Haryana portion. Crore. Thousand is for three hundred kilometer. In Haryana, we have one eighty. Yes, sir. How much? Six hundred crore. Yes, sir. Value related to Punjab portion. Six hundred crore. Thousand into total highway length is three hundred out of seventy. Two thirty-three. Sorry. Two thirty-three crores. Two thirty-three crore and remaining value related to Chandigarh portion. Thousand into ten or twenty. Twenty by three hundred. Twenty by three hundred. Sixty-seven. This is how practically system involved. Now, just write it down. Beta, how many participants are there? Actually, I am not able to check the participant. Totally, there are six, sir. Six? Yeah. Actually, Anushka, Anna, Sanjay, Aman. Okay. Okay. Sorry, five, sir. Five. Note down, sir. Noted. Now. Yes. Now. As far as Delhi is concerned, let us say rate of GST eighteen percent. I will explain each and every concept minutely. So first, billing relating to Delhi. Where is the location of service provider? Delhi, sir. Delhi. Where is my place of supply? Delhi. Delhi. What is my nature of supply? Sir, intra. What is taxes levied? C plus S. C plus S. How does system operate? Value. 
of services how much is the value 100 crore cgst sgst 9% each so practically how does system operate practically system aise chalega beta ye clear regarding delhi portion any query no sir sure regarding haryana portion where is the location of service provider delhi ni era construction is off is off oh my god oh my god oh my god sorry 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 extremely sorry ha huh? aapne bhi bataya nahi beta mere ko aman ha ji location of service provider sir haryana hai haryana sorry location of service provider haryana place of supply delhi nature sir uh, inter tax sir igst value 100 crore which type of tax apply igst 18 118 this is related to delhi portion Clear or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sure, na? Second, regarding Haryana. Haryana. Where is the location of service provider? Sir, Haryana. Haryana. Where is the place of supply? Sir, Haryana. Haryana. What is the nature of supply? Sir, intra. Intra. What is the taxes levy? Sir, C G S T C S G S T. Very good. So, what is the value of service regarding Haryana? Six hundred crore. Six hundred crore. Two type of taxes levy: C G S T, S G S T. Nine percent each. क्लियर यस सर सेम कैलकुलेशन इज फॉर पंजाब एंड चंडीगढ़ आई वॉन्ट यू टू टू ट्राई दिस क्वेश्चन Will you try? Yes, sir. Regarding Punjab and regarding Chandigarh. punjab location of service provider is in haryana place of supply punjab nature, nature inter, of supply inter inter taxes igst igst value 70 or oh, 233 IGST 
at the rate of 18 percent and then chandigarh location of service provider is in haryana place of supply is in punjab chandigarh 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 nature nature inter sir inter tax igst value 67 crore which tax igst at the rate of 18% 18% this is the whole crux of section 12 subsection 3 services in relation to immovable property four type of services are covered place of supply immovable property is located in india location of immovable property immovable property located outside india location of service recipient in india if immovable property is located in more than one state then place of supply shall be each state any query in 12 3 Shall I move on? Yes, sir. 12.4. Following services are covered in 12.4. Total six services are covered in 12.4. Number one, restaurant service. Number two, catering service. Number three, beauty treatment service. Number four, personal grooming service. Number fifth, fitness service. Six and last, health service, including cosmetic and plastic surgery. These six type of services is covered under section 12 for restaurant service, catering service, beauty treatment service, personal grooming service, fitness service, health service, including cosmetic and plastic surgery. I am giving you the option. You let me know the answer. What should be the place of supply? Location of service provider, location of service recipient or place where such services are actually performed. What should be the place of supply? Location of service provider, location of service recipient, or perfume or place where such services are actually performed. Am I audible to all? Sir, place where services are performed, sir. Chanta, Anna. Where such services are provided? So, place of supply of all these services are place where services are actually performed and mind it where actually performed whether performed in india or outside india whether performed in india or outside india don't get confused with 12 3 here whether performed in india or outside India. So restaurant service, catering service, beauty treatment service, personal grooming service, health service, oh sorry, fitness service, health service including cosmetic and plastic surgery. Place of supply, location where services are actually performed, whether performed in India or outside India.
चले मोहन यस सर एग्जाम्पल से समझते हैं एग्जाम्पल सर्विस प्रोवाइडर लेट एस से डॉक्टर मनीष पोल डेली सर्विस रिसिपियंट शिल्पा शेट्टी I think everyone has heard this name बेटा yes, उनकी पहली मूवी थी बाजीगर और उनके बाद की मूवी देखना उन्होंने नाक की सर्जरी करवा रखी है डिफरेंस समझ में आएगा बेटा ठीक है ना सर्विस रिसिपियंट शिल्पा शेट्टी जी एस टी रजिस्टर्ड मुंबई ये इनको कौन सी सर्विसेज दे रहा है ब्यूटी वाली और सर्जरी वाली कॉस्मेटिक और प्लास्टिक सर्जरी टू बी परफॉर्म्ड लेट एस से इन इन चेन्नई हॉस्पिटल तो सर्विस प्रोवाइडर इज ऑफ दिल्ली सर्विस रिसिपियंट इज ऑफ मुंबई सर्विसेज आर एक्चुअली परफॉर्म्ड इन चेन्नई होगा प्लेस ऑफ प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई चेन्नई सर क्योंकि हॉस्पिटल चेन्नई चेन्नई सर प्लेस वेयर सर्विसेज आर एक्चुअली परफॉर्म्ड एक्चुअली परफॉर्म्ड दैट इज चेन्नई Clear all? Clear? Yes, sir. Or had these services been performed in Singapore instead of Chennai? Singapore. Then place of supply? Singapore. Singapore. Example. What would be your answer? in above example if services are performed in singapore hospital so what should be the place of supply so singapore singapore place where services are actually performed place where services are actually performed clear yes sir yes sir so 121 talks about applicability location of service provider and recipient both must be of india 12-2 residuary services. Services not covered elsewhere covered by 12-2. 12-3 services relating to immovable property and related services. 12-4 six type of services. Restaurant, catering, beauty treatment, personal grooming, fitness, health service including cosmetic and plastic surgery. Any query? Yes, sir. For example, catering service, if it is provided where the event is taking place, then it will be taxed under 124 only or 12 124 and uh, listen one thing whenever there is contradiction between two provision of law specific would prevail over general have you heard this line yeah yes whenever sir. there is contradiction between two provision of law then specific would prevail over general suppose i book taj hotel for my marriage and i book a kohler caterer for catering services at taj hotel so then that case catering services is incidental or ancillary also But catering services is covered under section twelve four also. So specific section for catering services. Twelve four. Twelve four. Got it? Yes, sir. Thank you. 
So catering would also be shall also governed by section 12.4. Whenever there is contradiction between two provision of law, then specific would prevail over general. Clear? Yes, sir. Next, 12.5. Well, five cover only two type of services, training and performance appraisal. Well, five contains two type of services, training and performance appraisal service. For this, you have to check service recipient is registered. Service recipient is unregistered. If service recipient is registered, place of supply, location of service recipient, LOSR. If service recipient is unregistered, place where services are actually performed. So section 12, 5 cover only two type of services, training and performance appraisal service. Training may be of any kind. It may be industrial training. It may be any other training. Performance appraisal may be of any type. So you have to check service recipient is registered, service recipient is unregistered. If service recipient is registered, then in that case, location of service recipient. If service recipient is unregistered, place where services are actually performed. Clear? Yes. Let us understand with the help of an example. Service provider, let us say Deepak Jain. Service recipient, let us say. X limited GST registered. Deepak Jain is of Delhi. Service recipient is of Haryana. I am providing, I am providing. training, training. to X limited employees on latest GST issue. Industrial training. I am providing training to X limited employees on latest GST issue in Dehradun. Dehradun is in Uttarakhand. So, location of service provider is in Delhi. Location of service recipient is in Haryana. Training is provided in Dehradun, Uttarakhand. So what should be the place of supply? What is the place of supply? Haryana. Sir, it's Haryana, sir. Haryana. Location, Location of? Re registered. SR. Service recipient as he is GST registered? Yes, sir. As GST registered. So place of supply would be Haryana as service recipient is GST registered. Place of supply would be Haryana as service recipient is GST registered. Or if the service recipient is unregistered, then? So sir, this is UK. Place where services are actually performed. So what would be 
your answer in above example if service recipient is unregistered then place of supply and place of supply sir place of actually jahan par form hua hai place where services are actually performed perform that is dehradun dehradun uk uttarakhand This is the crux of twelve five from my side. Any query? No sir. No sir. Chilo? Yes. Shall I move on? Yes sir. Next is twelve six. Services by way of admission. by way of admission admission here means entry ticket to various event services by way of admission entry ticket to various event yahan wo services hain jahan ke liye beta aapko entry ticket lene padti hai ये वो सर्विसेज है जिन्हें परफॉर्म जिन्हें अवेल करने के लिए आपको एंट्री टिकट लेनी पड़ती है कोई एग्जांपल देना बेटा मूवी थिएटर सॉरी मूवी थिएटर्स परफेक्ट है मूवी थिएटर्स है अम्यूजमेंट पार्क है फन पार्क है थीम पार्क है राइड पार्क है वेर यू हैव टू परचेज टिकट फिल्म फेयर अवार्ड है राइट डाउन इज कंडक्टेड इन गोवा सर एग्जीबिशन है कोई एग्जीबिशन है ट्रेड फेयर है कहीं पर कुछ भी चल रहा है बेटा सो वेरियस इवेंट इवेंट में भी कल्चरल कल्चरल कहीं पर कोई कुछ ही पूरी भरतनाट्यम चल रहा है उसकी एंट्री टिकट है इवेंट में भी स्पोर्ट्स मैच देखने जा रहे हैं आप इंडिया ऑस्ट्रेलिया फाइनल कोई एंटरटेनमेंट का इवेंट है ठीक है ना कोई भी एंटरटेनमेंट इवेंट कोई साइंटिफिक इवेंट एनी इवेंट आई एम जस्ट राइटिंग डाउन द एग्जाम्पल एनी एजुकेशनल इवेंट ICSI is conducting a seminar where entry ticket is 500 per student any yes sir it may be amusement park etc so what should be the place of supply location of service provider location of service recipient ya place where event is held Take the example of India Australia final match. India Australia final match कहाँ पर हुआ था? अहमदाबाद. तो service provider BCCI Mumbai, service recipient viewers from all India, even from outside India also. An event is held in Ahmedabad. What should be the place of supply? Your opinion. Service provider BCCI Mumbai. Service recipient आपका बेटा various players, various viewers. scattered all over the world an event is held in ahmedabad so what should be the place of supply sir ahmedabad ahmedabad means place where event is held or park is located yes sir so place where event is held or park is located amusement park fun park theme park और सिनेमा हॉल इज लोकेटेड यस सर समझ जाओगे ना यस सर जहां भी इवेंट हेल्ड हो रहा है सर जहां पर भी इवेंट हो रहा है वो जहां पर भी वो प्रोग्राम हो रहा है ऐसे बोल लो अपने फिल्म फेयर अवार्ड के लिए एंट्री टिकट ली जहां पर फिल्म फेयर अवार्ड हो रहा है आपने क्रिकेट मैच के लिए एंट्री टिकट ली तो जहां पर वो क्रिकेट मैच हो रहा है और सर ये आउटसाइड हो तो सर इंडिया से पर भी हो चाहे इंडिया में हो चाहे आउटसाइड इंडिया हो प्लेस वेयर इवेंट इज हेल्ड आउटसाइड इंडिया में फर्क केवल इमूवेबल प्रॉपर्टी में पड़ता है बेटा बाकी कहीं नहीं पड़ रहा ठीक है ठीक है
क्लियर सो ट्वेल्व सेवन ट्वेल्व सेवन इट कवर टू टाइप ऑफ सर्विसेस इवेंट मैनेजमेंट सर्विस हैव यू हर्ड दिस सर्विस यस सर इवेंट मैनेजमेंट इवेंट को मैनेज करना और स्पॉन्सरशिप सर्विस ट्वेल्व सेवन कंटेन्स टू टाइप ऑफ सर्विस नंबर वन इवेंट मैनेजमेंट सर्विस एंड नंबर टू स्पॉन्सरशिप सर्विस इन दैट केस यू हैव टू चेक इवेंट हेल्ड इन इंडिया और इवेंट हेल्ड आउटसाइड इंडिया इवेंट हेल्ड इन इंडिया अगेन यू हैव टू चेक बी टू बी बी टू सी बी टू बी मीन्स बिजनेस टू बिजनेस नहीं मतलब क्या होता है इसका सर्विस रिसिपियंट इज रजिस्टर्ड बी टू सी सर्विस रिसिपियंट इज अनरजिस्टर्ड अनरजिस्टर्ड तो इवेंट हेल्ड इन इंडिया बी टू बी सर्विस रिसिपियंट रजिस्टर्ड प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई लोकेशन ऑफ एस आर एस आर बी टू सी प्लेस वेयर इवेंट इज हेल्ड एंड इफ द इवेंट हेल्ड आउटसाइड इंडिया location of service recipient if the event held outside india then location of service recipient clear समझ आया कुछ एग्जांपल से समझाऊं यस सर चलो एग्जांपल से समझाता हूं जस्ट राइट इट डाउन लिख लो तो मेरे को बता देना लिख लिया सर लिख लिया यस सर let us understand with the help of an example service provider chain event company let us say delhi ki service recipient have you heard the name yes, manish malhotra malhotra yes sir kon hai kon hai सर बॉलीवुड में वो क्या नाम है कंपनी डिजाइन करता है डिजाइनर जीएसटी रजिस्टर्ड मुंबई सर्विस प्रोवाइडर जैन इवेंट कंपनी दिल्ली सर्विस रिसीपियन मनीष मल्होत्रा जीएसटी रजिस्टर्ड मुंबई मनीष मल्होत्रा हैज टू कंडक्ट फैशन शो इन वेरियस सिटीज मनीष मल्होत्रा वांट्स टू कंडक्ट फैशन शो इन वेरियस सिटीज बेटा एक ड्रेस डिजाइनर अपनी ड्रेस कैसे बेचता है ये इतने बड़े बड़े ड्रेस डिजाइनर अपनी ड्रेस कैसे बेचते हैं वाया फैशन शो सुन रहे हो यस ड्रेस डिजाइनर सोल्ड आउट देयर ड्रेसेस प्रोक्योर ऑर्डर वाया फैशन शो तो जैन इवेंट कंपनी विल प्रोवाइड इवेंट मैनेजमेंट सर्विसेज ही विल कंडक्ट द एंटायर शो He will conduct the entire show of Manish Malhotra. Manish Malhotra has excel in dress designing. He don't want to indulge in fashion show activities. He don't want to agreement with models. He don't want to agreement with any other person. Event management company से उसने tie up कर लिया. Event management company है सारा उसको agreement services करके देगी. ठीक है? Yes. So event management service regarding. रिगार्डिंग फैशन शो फैशन शो टू बी हेल्ड इन 
केस ए दिल्ली केस बी गोवा केस सी पेरिस व्हाट शुड बी द प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई केस डी मेन हब ऑफ फैशन सेंटर इज मिलान मिलान इज इन इटली so what is the place of supply pakistan mumbai sir place a event in india b2b supply in india b2b supply place of supply location of service recipient that is mumbai mumbai case b event held in india service recipient is gst registered location of service recipient that is mumbai mumbai kc place of supply event held outside india so again location of service recipient yes sir say yes or no yes sir that is mumbai ksd event held outside india so again location of service recipient that is mumbai in each case place of supply shall be location of service recipient in each case place of supply shall be location of service recipient mumbai any issue no sir any issue no sir no sir what would be your answer in above example if manish manotra is unregistered what would be your answer in above example if manish malhotra is unregistered go slowly take your proper time follow the diagram करवाऊ डन यस सर बोल बेटा केस ए सर दिल्ली इवेंट इज हेल्ड इन इंडिया एंड सर्विस रिसिपियंट इज अनरजिस्टर्ड तो प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई प्लेस वेयर इवेंट इज हेल्ड हेल्ड दिल्ली दैट इज दिल्ली केस टू सर्विस रिसिपियंट अनरजिस्टर्ड इवेंट इज हेल्ड इन place where event is held that is delhi sir 
दूसरा भी दिल्ली है यस सर गोवा हाँ जी गोवा थर्ड इवेंट हेल्ड आउटसाइड इंडिया लोकेशन ऑफ सर एल एल सर लोकेशन ऑफ सर्विस रिसीपेंट मुंबई इवेंट हेल्ड आउटसाइड इंडिया लोकेशन ऑफ सर्विस रिसीपेंट दैट इज मुंबई so crux another crux event management and sponsorship service can i say that you have to check service recipient is registered service recipient is unregistered If service recipient is registered, place of supply, location of service recipient, whether event in India, held in India or outside India. In each case, in each case, whether event is held in held India, India or outside or India, beta. Can I say that or not? Yes. yes look at this this one is held in india and this one is held outside india in both cases place of supply is location of service recipient nahi aaya samajh mein sir aa gaya aa gaya aur agar service recipient unregistered hai you have to check event held in india or event held आउटसाइड इंडिया आंसर बताओ बेटा इवेंट हेल्ड इन इंडिया सर एक्चुअली एक्चुअली हेल्ड जाऊंगा इवेंट इवेंट इज हेल्ड इवेंट हेल्ड आउटसाइड इंडिया कोशिश करो सर एलो आर location of service recipient this is the crux of 12 7 an issue from your side beta ओ पांच मिनट का ब्रेक ले ले फाइव मिनट्स ब्रेक बेटा सर एक बार ऊपर कर देंगे सर वो मुझे लिखना था सर वो पहले वाला कौन से वाला तो सर जो मेरा छूट गया सर वो सेक्शन टेन सर अरे उसका स्क्रीनशॉट ले लेना बाद में लिखता रहिए क्या नहीं लिख पाया बता सर ये स्क्रीनशॉट ले ले बेटा स्क्रीनशॉट नहीं समझ रहा क्या कह रहा हूँ तू लैपटॉप पे है मोबाइल पे है लैपटॉप पे हूँ सर लैपटॉप पे लेना आता है क्या स्क्रीनशॉट नहीं सर कौन से खींच ले इसको फिर बाद में लिखता रही हो टेन वन ए टेन वन बी ऐसे लिख लिख के पागल हो जाएगा सी डी ई टाइम से क्यों नहीं ज्वाइन करता तो डेली लेट होता है क्लास में पांच मिनट का ब्रेक दूं क्या बेटा दे दो चलो पांच मिनट का ब्रेक लो जी सर
क्लाइंट भी परेशान रहता ना बार बार बुलाता हूँ तो तो कम के एक परसेंट तो आप कुछ भी
Other than that, any chapter you want to revise? We leave it to you, sir. Sorry? We leave it to you. Sorry? Chapter name. Sir, it's your choice, sir. Achha, it's up to me. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Aman Beta, no particular query in this chapter? Mein. मेरा चैट बॉक्स ओपन नहीं हो रहा आज यार Shall we start? Yes, sir. 12, 8. Services regarding transportation of goods. Services regarding transportation of goods. Mode of transport may be anything. Mode of transport may be truck, may be railway, Indian railway Malgadi, may be aircraft, may be vessel, may be department of post. maybe courier any mode of transport of goods maybe any but majorly mode of transport is either truck or railway majorly so you have to check whether it is b to b supply b to b means service recipient is a b to b means service recipient is a registered B2C means service recipient is unregistered. B2B service recipient is registered. So, in this case, you have to place place of supply, location of service recipient. If service recipient is registered, place of supply, location of service recipient, B2C, place where goods are handed over, B2C, place where goods are handed over for transportation. So this one is services regarding transportation of uh, goods. Goods. Mode of transport may be transport, maybe railway, railway, aircraft, vessel, any mode. It may be department of post, courier, any. You have to check whether it is B2B supply or B2C. B2B means service recipient is registered. B2C means service recipient is unregistered. If B2B place of supply, location of service recipient. B2C, place of supply, place where goods are handed over. Clear? Yes, sir. Example. Mahavir Transport. TPT means transport. Delhi. Truck chalata hai. Known as GTA. Clear? He is the 
सर्विस प्रोवाइडर एक्स लिमिटेड डेली जीएसटी रजिस्टर्ड वाई लिमिटेड पंजाब जीएसटी रजिस्टर्ड जेड लिमिटेड यूपी अनरजिस्टर्ड गुड्स आर हैंडेड ओवर इन नोएडा यूपी गुड्स आर हैंडेड ओवर इन नोएडा यूपी नोएडा इज इन यूपी डिटरमाइन प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई महावीर ट्रांसपोर्ट जी टी एज द सर्विस प्रोवाइडर एक्स लिमिटेड वाई लिमिटेड एंड जेड लिमिटेड इज द सर्विस रिसिपियंट तो फर्स्ट एक्स लिमिटेड इज जी एस टी रजिस्टर्ड प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई बेटा इट इज बी टू बी और बी टू सी अमन बी टू बी और बी टू सी सर बी टू बी सर क्योंकि रजिस्टर्ड है ना गुड तो प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई लोकेशन ऑफ सर्विस रिसिपियंट दैट इज डेली सेकेंड सेकेंड सर प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई सर अगेन बी टू बी लोकेशन ऑफ सर्विस रिसिपी एंड दैट इज पंजाब पंजाब पी बी स्टैंड फॉर पंजाब थर्ड सर्विस रिसिपियंट इज अनरजिस्टर्ड प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई प्लेस वेयर गुड्स आर हैंडेड ओवर प्लेस वेयर गुड्स आर handed over for transportation that is noida place where the goods are handed over for transportation that is noida clear say yes or no yes sir yes sir next 129 services regarding transportation of passenger services regarding transportation of a passenger again you have to check whether it is b2b supply or b2c b2b means service recipient is registered b2c means unregistered service recipient so service recipient registered what should be the place of supply Yes, Location of service recipient. If service recipient is unregistered, then place of supply, जहाँ से passenger अपनी journey start करेगा, place where passenger embark embark मतलब journey start करना for his जर्नी इन केस ऑफ बी टू बी प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई लोकेशन ऑफ सर्विस रिसिपियंट इन केस ऑफ बी टू सी प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई प्लेस वेयर पैसेंजर इम्बार्क फॉर हिज जर्नी इंपोर्टेंट नोट इंपोर्टेंट नोट वेयर सिंगल टिकट इज इशूड फॉर इनवर्ड एंड आउटवर्ड जर्नी डेली मुंबई डेली डेली चेन्नई डेली Single ticket is issued for inward and outward journey. First, you have to go from Delhi to Mumbai, and then from Mumbai to oh. Delhi. But single ticket is issued from Delhi, Mumbai, Delhi. Then what should be the place of supply? Are you getting my point? What I am trying to telling you? Aye, aye. Yes, sir. Single ticket is issued for Mumbai. Not an issue. Place of supply would be Delhi. 
passengers start his journey from Delhi. Single ticket is issued from Mumbai to Delhi. Not an issue, place of supply shall be Mumbai, Mumbai. where passengers embark for his journey. What if he booked a single ticket for inward and outward journey? Delhi, Mumbai, Delhi. Aman, questions are coming to us? Yes, sir. So, if a single ticket issue hui hai for inward and outward journey, such journey shall be treated as separate journey. You have to compute separate place of supply. So, Delhi, Mumbai, Delhi. For Delhi, Mumbai, place of supply, Delhi. For Mumbai, Delhi, place of supply, Mumbai. Getting my point? Yes, sir. So, where single ticket is taken for inward okay. and outward journey. Outward journey. Then, then each journey each shall journey be taken separate journey. Separate journey. Each journey shall be treated as separate So where single ticket is taken for inward and outward journey, then each journey shall be treated as separate journey. Example, Delhi, Mumbai, Delhi. So for Delhi, Mumbai? Delhi, sir. Good. Place of supply, Delhi. And for Mumbai, Delhi? Mumbai, sir. Very good. Clear? Yeah. Example. Yes. Let us say service provider Jet Airways Mumbai. Service recipient X Limited Delhi GST registered. X Limited beta book booked for his employee or one state from one state to another state. X Limited Beta is a huge company, big company like Maruti Udyog Limited, like Disco Infosys. He has to book ticket for his employee for commuting from one state to another state. So he is providing him which kind of services? Transportation of passenger. Case A. From Mumbai to Delhi. Case B, ticket from Chennai to Kolkata. Case C, from Srinagar to Kochi. Case D, Jaipur, Chandigarh. Determine. Or pani pani to do. Or be a boy insurance or not. Aman, beta mute the mic. Aman, mic ko mute kar beta. Sorry, hai. Or pani pani to do. 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 Or pani pani नहीं 
Shanta, what should be the place of supply? In all the cases, uh, it is uh, uh, Delhi, sir. Delhi. Perfect. As service recipient is registered. Therefore, place of supply is location of service recipient. So A, B, C, D, we have four situation. In all cases, place of supply is, that is Delhi. What would be your answer if X limited is unregistered? So in the first place, it will so be just, just write it down. What would be your answer in above example if Mumbai. Perfect. Case B. Flight is from Chennai. Chennai to Kolkata. Place of supply? Chennai. Chennai. Case C. Flight is from Srinagar to Kochi. Place of supply? Srinagar. Srinagar. Case D. Jaipur, Chandigarh, Jaipur. So regarding Jaipur to Chandigarh? Jaipur. Jaipur. And regarding Chandigarh to Jaipur? Chandigarh. It's Chandigarh. So this is my section 12, subsection 9, services provided to passenger. Yeah, I have that, transportation of passenger services. Sir, एक बार ऊपर कर देंगे सर वो नोट डाउन नहीं कर पाएगा सर तो बेटा माइक को म्यूट रखा कर तेरे को मैं जब बोल रहा हूँ तो बाहर बात कर रहा है तेरे को कंटिन्यूअसली बोल रहा हूँ माइक म्यूट कर पूरी क्लास डिस्टर्ब कर रहा है तू तेरा ध्यान पता नहीं कहाँ है इसका स्क्रीनशॉट ले इसका किसी दूसरे से बात फोटो खींच ले इसकी मोबाइल से और बाद में फेयर करता रहिए आप फेयर कर चलो नेक्स्ट है 12 10 सर्विसेज ऑन बोर्ड a conveyance 10 1e both are goods on board a conveyance this one is services on board a conveyance when i have got right on a bit of 10 1e goods taken on board this one is services on board suppose there is a flight from delhi to usa direct flight 18 hours flight beta so, how do you pass the time? After 2-3 hours, you don't pass the time. You can take a video parlor service on paid basis. You can take a massage parlor service on paid basis. On many services is provided on conveyance itself. So, what should be the place of supply of these services? What is the place of supply of these services which is provided on conveyance? What is the place of supply of these services which is provided on conveyance? एक train का नाम सुना आपने palace on wheel. Delhi से बनके चलती है और बेटा कई states इसमें जाती है राजस्थान के कई उसमें. Jaipur, Jodhpur, Udaipur, palace on wheels, Maharaja train. Yes sir, yes sir, सुना sir. सुन रखा है ना बेटा? तो ये सारे के सारे क्या हैं? उसके 
रेलवे के अंदर ही सर्विसेज दे रहे हैं उसके अंदर फाइव स्टार इक्विलेंट है वो हाँ जी फाइव स्टार की तरह है वेसल्स है बेटा जो सर्विसेज क्या कर रहे हैं कन्वेंस के अंदर ही प्रोवाइड कर रहे हैं टूरिज्म क्रूज है तो उनका प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई क्या होगा उनका प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई होगा बेटा फर्स्ट शेड्यूल्ड पॉइंट ऑफ डिपार्चर फर्स्ट शेड्यूल्ड पॉइंट ऑफ डिपार्चर रिमेंबर नॉट वेयर सर्विसेज आर अवेल्ड रिमेंबर नॉट वेयर सर्विसेज आर अवेल्ड प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई इज फर्स्ट शेड्यूल्ड पॉइंट ऑफ डिपार्चर विल एक्सप्लेन विद द हेल्प ऑफ एन एग्जाम्पल प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई इज फर्स्ट शेड्यूल पॉइंट ऑफ डिपार्चर एग्जाम्पल देर इज अ फ्लाइट चार्ट डेली चेन्नई अंडमान देर इज नो डायरेक्ट फ्लाइट ऑफ अंडमान सो आई टेक वाया चेन्नई Delhi to Chennai, then uh, transit phase is there. Then from Chennai to Andaman. So, कई बार direct flight नहीं मिलती बेटा, तो हम connected flight लेते हैं ना? हाँ जी सर, वाया करके जाती हैं जो हाँ जो वाया करके जाती हैं, तो ये पहले Delhi से Chennai जाएगी, वहाँ कुछ passenger उतरेंगे, कुछ passenger चढ़ेंगे, और फिर वो same flight कहाँ जाएगी बेटा आपकी Andaman जाएगी. What is the first scheduled point? Delhi. डिपार्चर जहाँ से चली है दिल्ली से फर्स्ट शेड्यूल पॉइंट जहाँ से बनके चली है फ्लाइट दिल्ली तो अब सर्विसेज चाहे बेटा आप यहाँ पर लो दिल्ली टू चेन्नई के बीच में सर्विसेज चाहे आप चेन्नई टू अंडमान के बीच में लो प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई शेल्प वन पैसेंजर अवेल वीडियो पार्लर सर्विसेज इन बिट One passenger avail video parlor services there. Services avail. For both these services, place of supply would be Delhi. First scheduled point of departure. Clear? Clear? Yes, sir. Shall I move on? Yes, sir. Good. Section 12.11 Telecom service Telecommunication or DTH service Tata Sky Telecom service or DTH service I am giving you the situation. You let me know what should be the place of supply. Situation. Place of supply. Fix line line. Or DTH. Or Dishantina. What should be the place of supply? Location of service provider, location of service recipient, or place where instrument is installed. Instrument is installed, sir. So place of supply, place. Good. Good. Second, second. Mobile. Mobile. Postpaid. Anyone is using postpaid mobile? Airtel, Vodafone. Mobile postpaid. Location of service provider, recipient, or billing address. Address. What should be the place of supply? Address of the recipient. Good. Billing address of recipient. And what about be paid? Sir, recharge ke time hi. 
mobile prepaid in case of prepaid you can get recharge via three option number one recharge via designated agent like in case of airtel you go to the showroom of airtel and get it recharged from there second recharge from other person normal shopkeeper वो तो रिचार्ज करते हैं ना एंड थर्ड मोस्ट प्रॉपरली रिचार्ज ऑनलाइन बाय इंटरनेट प्री पेड आप साहब तीन ऑप्शन होती है आपके पास या तो आप डेजिग्नेटेड एजेंट पे जाओ एयरटेल का तो एयरटेल के शोरूम पे जाओ वोडाफोन है वोडाफोन के शोरूम पे जाओ वहां से रिचार्ज करवाओ या फिर रिचार्ज बाया अदर पर्सन वो जो भी दुकानदार करते हैं रिचार्ज उनसे रिचार्ज करवा लो या फिर रिचार्ज बाया इंटरनेट ऑनलाइन तो रिचार्ज बाया डेजिग्नेटेड एजेंट वट शुड बी द प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई वहां जाकर ही होगा लोकेशन ऑफ डेजिग्नेटेड एजेंट रिचार्ज वाया अदर पर्सन सर ये ये भी वही होगा जाकर वो शॉपकीपर शॉपकीपर के पास जाकर ही होगा प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई लोकेशन ऑफ अदर पर्सन रिचार्ज वाया इंटरनेट क्या हो जाएगा बेटा रिचार्ज वाया इंटरनेट पे कोशिश करो address on record of service recipient address on record of service recipient so this is the crux of section 12 11 telecom services and dth services क्लियर नेक्स्ट ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व बैंकिंग सर्विस एंड स्टॉक ब्रोकर सर्विस banking service and stock broker service you have to check service recipient address service recipient address is available service recipient address is not available if you have account in a particular bank then but obvious service recipient address is available if you have address in bank then it is what obvious beta then address of service recipient must be available with bank if you don't have any bank account with bank then bank has not service address then bank has not service address of a recipient so if service address is available place of supply that address if bank don't have beta service address place of supply location of service provider mera account beta kotak mahindra bank mein hai delhi branch delhi patel nagar branch i have my own account in kotak mahindra bank delhi patel nagar branch so my address on record is available with bank pure india mein main kotak mahindra bank se kahin par bhi services le lu place of supply would be that address patel nagar delhi chun raha beta hmm? are you there yes yes sir yes sir so agar address hai to that address address nahi hai to location of service provider clear yes sir 12 well, 13 chapter is over insurance services 
which type of insurance he is talking about sir uh, general insurance sare. specified insurance sare sare life insurance general insurance health wealth sab aa jayenge isme you have to check b2b or b2c b2b means unregistered registered b2c means unregistered b2b hai to koshish karo b2 hello sir location of service recipient b2c hai to address on record jo bhi address hoga beta aap policy ke time lete hai na address nahi dete sir So insurance services it covered all type of insurance whether life health journal any if it is b2b supply b2b means service recipient is registered then place of supply location of service recipient if it is b2c supply then place of supply is address on record clear or not yes sir Twelve fourteen last. Advertisement services provided to government. Advertisement services provided to government. Government is a service provider or service recipient. Service recipient here. Yeah. Government sir, is provider. a provider or sir, provider, service provider. recipient. Sir, provider. Recipient. Advertisement services provided to government. Okay, sir. Okay. Here, government to is government. a service recipient. Okay, provided to government. Place of supply. Place where advertisement are actually performed. and if it is perform in more than one state sir sub state hoga sub state if advertisement are performed in more than one state then place of supply shall be each state what about what if advertisement services are provided to other than government how would you determine the place of supply shanta where advertisement services are provided to other than government like yeah. national bank avail advertisement services delhi metro avail advertisement services any idea then we would be covered under section 12 services not covered elsewhere will be covered under 12 12 got so important note if advertisement services are provided to any person other than government then place of supply shall be determined as per section 12 subsection 2 that is residuary provision
this is the crux of in totality chapter place of supply one of the lendiest chapter of gst any query in any section any query in any section 10 11 or 12 any query no sir so what should we do now another chapter beta anyone which you wants to revise sir you can tell how we can structure our answers as far as answer is concerned hmm. Actually, a first time paper will come, so you will know how to make a pattern. Kaisa hmm. uh, first, let me know you know the tax rate or not. Hmm. Hello? Sir? You all know the tax rate, na? Tax rate. Tax rate. Uh, how to compute tax? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, celebrate, kare na, sir. Aap, Anji, celebrate. Celebrate, sir. उसे पता है ना बेटा तो सर एक बार बता दीजिए तो ज्यादा बेहतर रहेगा सर इस असेसमेंट ईयर के लिए प्रीवियस ईयर चलो फिर मैं नेक्स्ट क्लास में लूंगा अच्छे से बताऊंगा उसमें टाइम लगाऊंगा एक डेढ़ घंटा इतने और कोई चीजें हो मेरे को डिस्कस करते रहो तो व्हाट वी आर डिस्कसिंग इन नेक्स्ट क्लास नंबर 1 टैक्स रेट और नेक्स्ट रेट सर क्लबिंग ऑफ Clubbing is not so important but from exam point of view. Sir, mat will be important, sir. Sorry? Mat. Mat is for final level. Final, okay. You know the concept of TDS and TCS under GST? So, uh, tax deduction at source, tax collection at source. Under GST? Any idea? No, sir. Yes or no, beta? No, sir. No, sir. Yes. Sir. This one is most important from exam point of view. TDS and uh, TCS. TCS. So next class, next I will bring it for you. For you. Uh, one yeah. is tax rate. If time allows. Another. Any knowledge about Schedule 3 of CGST? No, sir. Any idea, Bata? No, sir. Oh my God, this one is also very important from exam point of view. So do one thing, I will complete TDS today itself. Don't waste the time. Write down the heading TDS. X deduction at source under section 51 GST. We'll complete this chapter in 5 to 10 minutes only. What are the basic conditions for TDS? There must be supplier. Supplier, there must be recipient. Recipient must be specified person. Specified person is government or government entity. Supplier may be any person. Recipient must be specified person. Who is specified person? Who is specified person? Government or government entity? Who is specified person? Government or government entity? Am I audible to all? Supplier may be any person. Recipient must be specified person. Rece specified person means government or government entities. And value of supply must exceeds 2.5 lakh. Supplier may be any person. Recipient must be specified person. Specified person is government or government entity. If value of supply exceeds 2.5 lakh, then 
at the time of making payment at the time of making payment comma recipient shall deduct tds where value of supply exceeds 2.5 lakh then recipient is under an obligation to deduct that tds as and when at the time of making payment what is the rate of tds what is the rate of tds if supply is intrastate supply so tds cgst 1% SGST 1%. If supply is interstate supply, any idea? IGST 2%. IGST 2%. But TDS shall be deducted only when value of supply exceeds 2 lakh and recipient is specified person. Sir, 2 lakh is 250. TDS. Sorry? Sir, 250 and a value of supply. 2 lakh 50,000. Dialogue. Oh. Anji. So provision of TDS shall apply only when number one value of supply exceeds 2.5 lakh and number two recipient is specified person. Then at the time of making payment TDS shall be deducted at the rate of intrastate supply CGST SGST 1% each intrastate supply IGST 2% TDS so deducted. shall be deposited to government by 10th of next month. So, in April, how much TDS cut is? 10 months will be cut. In May, how much TDS cut is? 10 June. In June, how much TDS cut is? 10 July. And so on. TDS so deducted shall be deposited to government by 10th of next month. And beta recipient ko loki language mein bolte hai yaha par this recipient is known as TDS deductor. deductor. This, this recipient is known as TDS deductor. deductor. He must he be must specified, specified person only. Specified person is government or government entity. So do let me know the answer. When provision of TDS is not applied? When it is not for specified persons? Number one. I will In the following cases. In the following cases, comma, provision of TDS shall not apply. In the following cases, provision of TDS shall not apply. Number one, where supplier is unregistered, then provision of TDS shall not apply. Number two, where recipient, where recipient is not specified person. The condition says recipient must be specified. Only then provision of TDS shall apply. Condition says recipient must be satisfied. Only then provision of TDS shall apply. So interpretation says if recipient is not specified person, then provision of TDS shall not apply. Number third, value of supply does not exceed rupee 2.5 lakh. 
value of supply does not exceed rupee 2.5 lakh. lakh. Comfortable? Comfortable. Number four. Number four. If supply is exempted supply or nil rated supply. If supply is exempted supply or nil rated supply, then provision of TDS shall not apply. If supply is a exempted supply or nil rated supply, then provision of TDS shall not apply. Now, a little issue in this case, a little issue. Supplier GST registered. Recipient government body. Let us say value of supply 10 lakh. Condition is satisfied? Condition is satisfied? Are you there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Payment made only two leg. TDS will be deducted on entire ten leg or on the payment made leg. Provision of TDS apply as value of supply exceeds two point five leg and recipient is government body. So provision of TDS shall apply. Lakh rupees. So TDS apply on which amount? On 10 lakh or two on lakh. payment amount? 2 lakh. On 2 lakh. So TDS deducted. 2 lakh into 2%. 4,000. TDS deducted 2 lakh into 2,000. That is... 4,000. So whatever payment made by recipient to supplier, payment shall be made after deduction of a TDS. Clear? Clear? Yes, sir. So this one is important chapter from exam point of view. TDS is also over. So in next class, I will take an up chapter myself, beta which will be relevant for you in the exam. Okay? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. So, that is all for today. Aaj ke liye itna beta. Next class, we will be considering some important concepts or topics. Ilya? Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much.